is a negative emotion resulting from a state of despair which most times leads to rash or extreme behavior. It could also mean dejection, despondency, disconsolateness, melancholy, dispiritedness, exigency, and cynicism. It is commonly known as desperation. Life is full of circumstances and tribulations that could cause a person to indulge in desperate measures in order to escape the avalanche of problems. This most times leads to regret because the consequences will obviously outweigh the gains. When you are desperate, you do not think straight because irrationality reigns in the presence of desperation. Life can be very cruel at times and people can become pessimistic to the extent that they stop believing that tomorrow will be better. They therefore become desperate to get out of that particular circumstance disturbing their lives. So many people have lost a lot in their quest to escape their situations. As economies all over the world keeps going down, poverty is gradually becoming the order of the day, especially in underdeveloped countries, leading to so many going astray in their desire to become rich and or be admitted into a better life. Many have lost their lives in their desperate journey to become rich. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Tribulations and temptations are part of life. The problem is not the challenge you are facing, but how you react to that particular problem bugging your life. God is eternal and he will always make a way where there seems to be no way. All you need is patience and hard work. It will come to pass in due time. You don't need to kill in order to make money. You can build gradually and surely one day all will fall into place. It is a characteristic of wisdom not to do desperate things. Desperation is like stealing from the devil you stand a good chance of attracting the wrong attention, which will obviously not be favorable to you at the end. One thing to note is that no condition is permanent, be it poverty, be it sickness, be it betrayal, be it problem in marriage or wickedness. It will pass because it is ephemeral. It may be night in your life right now, but morning is fast approaching. At the end of every tunnel, there is always light. Learn to look beyond the present and far into the future because no condition is permanent. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 says, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? Apart from the fact that you need to make optimism a part of your lifestyle, you also ha have to understand that you can't do it alone. This is why you have to put all your hope in God, who is the author and finisher of our faith. He will open doors for you at the right time, and at the end, 
you will emerge victorious over that particular tribulation disturbing your life. Learn to put your trust in God and work hard towards your solution. Trust me, it will come to pass. Thanks and God bless.